Hey everybody, and welcome to the next Three Ways in Flame. Now this one is, again, something that is useful to know and applies to everyday workflows for everyone, which is pre-rendering effects. So this is a, uh, applies to pre-rendering effects inside of batch or batch effects, and um, three different ways to do it. And, you know, we can look at some good reasons for both um, for all of these as well. So let's, let's dive in. So I've just got a screenshot of something that's HD. And um, just for the sake of this, um, I'm gonna add just a 2D transform, make sure auto key's on. I'm gonna add some scale keyframes. And just again, just, just really, I just wanna get the, uh, get some slowdown happening. So I'm gonna turn on motion blur. You see it's still pretty quick considering, but I'll, you know, maybe up the samples to 25, and put the shutter down to 0.3. And if we press play, you see I'm still getting pretty, pretty close to real time. So now let's um you know let's make it chug you know because you usually want to do this in bigger um bigger comps. So again, I'm just gonna put this to defocus, which usually slows down, and let's put this up to 150. And if we scrub through, you see now it's chugging a little more. Again, if we press play, okay, let's go even further. Let's dupe dupe that blur. So I'm just gonna duplicate, and then again. You see now, now as I'm scrubbing through, there's always a point in, in your timeline where you're going to have to pre-process to speed up interactivity interactiv and um, just make your life easier when you're comping so you're not worried about speed. So the first way, um, you know, a lot of people don't know exist is um, if I'm just going to add a mux after and I'm just going to click on this guy here and that's going to enable cache for that guy. So if I look at the result and press play, it's caching this as we go. So let it do it and you see it is you know it's only 50 frames and it's not the slowest example but if we just let this play you see it's way less than real time and we'll let that finish and you'll see now if we press play we've got a real time playback because that's been cached now you know sometimes this can be a little bit flaky when reloading there are preferences um, to choose the cache lifespan um, this works sometimes um, and, you know, can be good. So that's, that's one way to pre-render pre your effects and pre-process your effects. Now, the other way a lot of people know is to back-click and create batch effects. And again, that, if we just click render, again, it's doing the same thing. It's creating the timeline that we can then um, use or explode. So again, the benefit of this way is if we did throw this away, we could have a cleaner, a cleaner tree and then explode effects if we wanted and you see it. Exploded them in a weird spot, um, chucked them up here, which can happen sometimes too. Now the other way is using the render node. So this this comes in into its own right inside of batch because inside of batch, if we do um, tell it to render, right now it's set to batch reels. Um, the cool thing is it'll render and then put itself back into your comp because right now it's saying batch renders, but we can say, let's say, let's put it in the schematic reel and schematic reels are great because there's a link between. So Again, if I just quickly render range, just let it do its thing. You see it's now put that render uh, right back in the tree in the right spot. And again, um, if you don't wanna have it encapsulated like you would with the batch effects, that guy is a cool way to do it because you can just chuck him here and you know anytime you change upstream, all you gotta do is re-render this guy and then just swap out wherever this guy's going after. Now there is one thing as well to remember with this uh, workflow by default history is off now history um, for an older user um, most people remember but for a newer user history is an older way of um, working and you know can be handy um, I try to avoid it you'd only really use it if you were in the tools but that's um, that might be another uh, three ways in flame so that's it for this one guys stay tuned for more